I like La Via Bell, this, La Via Bell, this, like, you go. So, love this, okay? I feel like if I bought this for my mom, she'll love this too. How is it someone is able to create a perfume for $5? Sell it for $5. I'm talking packaging, I'm talking bottle, you know, everything, perfume itself, ingredients, and you're charging nearly like $200 like how is that right you know this next perfume is not a designer perfume it's more of like a celebrity perfume imitation not imitation they're not trying to copy but they're trying to copy in the legal way <laughs> in the right way you know to help some of us who need some of these types of perfumes that are affordable. Now listen, this is by the brand Lovali Fragrances. This is Sweetie Sweetie, out of perform, 100 ml. Now, what does this box remind you of? I was out and my aunt said like, she's really young, she's like my age, but anyway. And she said, you need to check out this store because it's kind of new in the area and all these things so we went there and it turns out it was five dollars and under so everything is five dollars and below so we went in there we had a look and guess what fragrances they had perfumes which is so fitting because right now we're kind of talking about affordable perfumes so I was like five dollar perfumes i went overboard and i bought a lot and another exciting thing about it was they looked like dupes to designer perfumes so i will show you um and i feel like you guys are gonna be super excited for me i will list the name of the store in the description you may not even have it in your country or state but you know it's just worth mentioning that it exists you know so let's get started when i went in there i thought fragrances <laughs> and i found some and um i was super excited you guys you have no idea i went into the perfume section sprayed tried some were had testers and others didn't i did just obviously blind buy some of them but you know when you're in store and then you're thinking to yourself just don't overdo it and then you get home and you're like why did i stop myself you know why did i stop myself so i'm actually gonna go back and buy the ones i didn't buy but this video might be slightly long because i did buy quite a bit first up i have this perfume called miss party as soon as i saw this packaging it reminded me of prada candy line Oh, and at the back here, it has the picture of the bottles. The other one's obviously my aunt's and this, uh, this one is mine. So let's open them. I'm excited. 100 mils, matte rippled kind of effect on the box. OMG. look at this ignore the birds <laughs> this says fashion fashion miss party auto perform three fluid ounce 100 mils and as you can see it's the white i swear like i will put the picture up here somewhere of the prada bottle that this is imitating fruity floral and it's actually pretty it seems like these perfumes are from like a legitimate brand they just kind of try to imitate the bottles of famous perfumes and the smells of famous perfumes but specifically designer perfumes there's none here that imitate niche perfumes so um and i really like that actually Slightly fruity, citrus, florals, just clean, just nice and elegant. Next one is Party Flower. 
my aunt didn't get this one um so this bottle is mine she's not like into fragrances like me um she didn't buy everything i bought i bought more than her so you guys tell me that this does not look like prada's box it actually does um if i find the images i'll insert them up there but so the brand from these perfumes is lovali fragrances lovali i'm gonna google them actually <sighs> look at this okay us dollars would be like three dollars or two dollars and something five dollars australian so like why not like why why you know so it says the same thing fashion all around black cap with pink bottle pink juice no it's pink juice clear bottle um party flower it says auto perform 100 mils um three fluid ounces oh this is even more floral this is even more floral and clean definite citruses in there and it's another clean scent oh that is pretty lovali fragrances is a legitimate brand that sells inexpensive perfumes that are designer perfume inspired so that makes complete sense um them costing five dollars is not anything unusual their pricing is around that google them <sighs> okay so far so good i mean five dollars you know can we really complain i will wear them try them and you know figure out the longevity of them but so far the two i've unboxed are citrus floral with like an underlying sweetness to them obviously i like i don't do plain florals do I just repeat myself like a hundred times? But you guys know this. So they have to have a sweet element to them. And these do. They're just clean citrus, light florals, um, and sweetness. So yeah. So that's them. Perfect for work, nighttime, everyday wear. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm going to go there again today. Because I don't want to risk missing out on any stock that they put in. You know what I mean? And they're just so cute. And they'd be great for gifting too. Yes. Yeah. Because, you know, there's so many events during the year. For so many people. You know. And so gifting gets expensive. And you don't want to just give... Oh, I don't like to just give like one one little box maybe if I buy jewelry just give you a box of jewelry no you know add like maybe a really nice body cream and a couple of perfumes or something like that you know like you, you give a good bag you know with gifts in it. these are nice to just add on top of your main gift then you don't really tell the people around you how much you paid for them they don't need to know you just, they don't need to know so I like these next up i have this perfume called treasure charm woman's fragrance 3.4 fluid ounces 100 mils i'll open it my aunt's mine okay so it comes in this shiny pink box i love this pink it's so pretty i actually really like the pink the pink and the white oh okay this citrus inspired perfume of refreshing bergamot balanced with the sweet floral note of jasmine perfectly combined with seductive warm mask to create a captivating aroma that inspires hope so this scent is saying basically it will have bergamot mask and jasmine so I'm excited. Those are the top notes, so we'll see how the dry down turns out. 100 mils. That's the picture of the bottle. Preferred fragrance, New York. This is a different brand. Yeah, this one's called Preferred Fragrance, New York. All right. 
The caps feel cheap. They remind me of the Missol bottles that I unboxed in the last videos. It's a citrus fresh scent as it says on the box. So we're going to spray it together. Oh, this is pretty. Mm. Yes, the mask is there. I feel like all the ones I've unboxed so far have, you know, a little bit of mask. But this one, though, this one is sweeter. This one is pretty, you know. Oh, I like this so much. I have a few people in mind to give this to, but this is Treasured Charm. And the bottle's like, you guys, $5, okay. Glass bottle, um, acrylic lid cap with a white little bow on there. Isn't that cute? The juice is a light pink, so yes. This next one is called SJ particular, but it looks like C passion passionate. Is that what it's called? I'll put the pictures up here. OMG. When I saw this, I said, I must have it. I must. I did try it and I really liked it. So let's unbox. You guys know I have C by Giorgio Armani, right? Um, this is the original. Now wait for this. The, the one I just showed you, the original, comes in a box like this. Same material box, same size. Well, slightly bigger because this is 150 mil and this is 100 mil. Do you guys see this? Do you guys see this? Like, other than celebrity perfumes, I'm kind of new to this affordable perfumes type of thing. And so, this is shocking to me. This is shocking, okay? Dupes and stuff like that, this is crazy. The SJ particular scent is reminiscent of C Passionette. Actually, the perfume is called C Passion by Giorgio Armani. And this, it smells reminiscent to that. And as you can see the bottle, they tried it. They tried it, guys. And so, C Passion is a rosy, it's got some citrus rose, but it's sweet. SJ Particular also has this um, soft, spicy rose, um, bit of citrus, powderiness, you know, sweet, floral. Yeah, even the juice, the color of the juice just tells you what kind of scent it is. It looks a little bit red and it's so juicy looking, okay. Next up is Sexy Venom. When I saw Sexy, then I read Venom, I thought meant to be, okay? So both me and my aunt got the same scent. Now, this one reminds me of, okay, let's just talk about the bottle first. So this one has, I think I remember, bitter orange rose and something else. Vanilla, actually it says here, vanilla. Bitter orange rose and vanilla, great. The ultimate femme fatale fragrance, vanilla and tonka wrapped in a sheer veil of rose bitter orange with hints of sandalwood. I love sandalwood will drive admirers mad. Sexy Venom is also by Preferred Fragrance. So the SJ particular fragrance I just showed you is from the Lovali Fragrances. Sexy Venom is by the Preferred Fragrance New York brand. And this is it, 5 
stylish, you guys. So this silver cap um, and this pink b bottle and it has sexy venom written here. So it just looks like the forbidden apple. You know what I mean? Take a bite. Mm, it looks juicy. Let's smell a bit of vanilla, bit of orange and rose. Sexy Venom is definitely sexy, um, but I'm crazy. So I would be wearing this every day just because I'm like that. <laughs> but yes, it does live up to its name. We are just going to try them for longevity and I'll get back to you. But love them. Like $5? Like $5. What's there to complain about? What is there to complain about? Next one is called Bella Root Princess Auto Parfum 100 ml. Okay, this brand is Lovali Fragrances. This is the first one I sprayed. Okay, when I show you what it's imitating, like what it smells similar to, I actually have that fragrance. So matte black box as you can see i know you're probably looking at the bottle like mm, that doesn't look like a bottle that i recognize from the designer fragrances but when i smelt this it reminded me of hold on let me spread It smells ambery, patchouli, sweet, um, fruity, slightly like sweet, you know, just good. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that. I hope you can see the similarities in the bottle, but it smells like Lenuit Tresor, balsamic, a little bit vanilla you know just patchouli as well ambery goodness like it's so yummy it's so yummy so this has the same intensity in the spray in the initial spray and the only thing i'd be testing between the two is the longevity um this of course when you first spray it has that alcohol you know but it's not as bad it's not as bad you know what I think when I'm doing the giveaway I will include these perfumes I better rush back to that store and buy more of these because so beautiful I think this one sexy venom all of the ones I've tried like for different occasions they just smell wonderful and for five dollars you guys like not sponsored from the perfumes that i've shown you that i will show you in this video how about you guys let me know in the comment section which one you'd be more inclined to want or like so that i can include that in the giveaway and that will also give me an indication of what type of scents you were interested in or what you enjoyed in the video as well i just can't wait till some of you get these perfumes and you know let me know how you feel and what you think about them because it's too optimistic to think that you guys will have access to these perfumes in a store in your area i'll obviously list the store in the description and the brands that these perfumes are coming from but yes looking forward to that giveaway honestly the next fragrance is called love trance a fragrance that hypnotizes the senses with its fresh bouquet of peony. Love trance will entice with bright lemon notes and sexy amber. So the top notes here are lemon, peony, and amber. Yes, another 100 ml. So pink with gold, very nice box. This is from Preferred Fragrance New York. This is it here. Very cute, you know. Gold lid, shiny gold lid. Um, obviously, it doesn't, it feels very light, but the bottles are glass, so.
yes peony sweet um vanilla the it's citrusy from the lemon but you can't really tell like because it's sweet you know and has the amber and the peony so it's it's so pretty like it's so pretty it's a perfect signature scent every day um work and i will get compliments i will get compliments for this so you guys i have to go to the store today today i am not wasting any more time i get so excited when i discover such things and bring them out to you guys like it just makes me so happy brightens me up like i just have to control myself like compose myself you know and um yeah but these are amazing discoveries let's move on to the next perfume this next perfume you guys are gonna be like ecstatic okay this is similar to a very popular perfume and this is one of the ones my aunt bought and loved this is one of her favorites from the ones we bought now listen my aunt is kind of new to the fragrance thing and obviously I'm way extra like she's the type of person who have one bottle you know and that's that she's happy like that like she never thought that you could be wearing perfume I have a shower perfume a bedtime perfume like she just thinks I'm the most extreme person out in the world <laughs> but you know she's also very girly very feminine she does like to smell good you know I can say she's really new to this fragrance hoarding thing and <laughs> I feel like there's a lot other people that are like that as well and this has been such a perfect opportunity experience for her to start getting into perfumes and you know try different scents purchase without um, breaking the bank and it's also an experiment you know because you might try scent in the store you might wear it and you might you might like it and then next month you don't feel the same about it this is such a, a great way to buy perfumes and experiment and try and you know just have more bottles on your vanity like <laughs> And most times when you're wearing fragrances, a good fragrance, and you wear it the right way, you know, you can't tell how much it is. You cannot tell. Like when you let it, when you let it soak into your clothes, into your skin, and people compliment you, you just smell good. And when they ask you what you're wearing, you know, that's when maybe you can say, but you don't tell them the price. You just name the name of the perfume. That's it. It's so wonderful to have options, to have layering options, you know. So if I wear like a really expensive perfume that might smell, you know, slightly deeper than what I'm wanting for that day, I layer with a citrus clean scent that's more affordable. And these smell really good like and i'm not sponsored by any these smell good like the next one is cold this is gonna ring a bell to you guys like right away la vie de cinabella like right um la vie belle is a popular fragrance and i'll put an image up here go and look it up but this perfume the la vie de Senabella is kind of um, hinting at the La Vie Belle perfume night by Lancome. Okay, I don't have La Vie Belle. This bird is so rude. Like, it just has too much to say. And this is not your video. This is not your video. Like, stop. Now, okay. If I was selling <laughs> the box alone, I'd be charging somebody three dollars, you know, four dollars maybe, just for the box. Um, this is by Lovali Fragrances with a rose gold copper type of top. I will put the picture of La Via Belle, the bottle, up here. It's similar but not quite the same, you know. I remember that when I was looking at La Via Belle uh, and I looked up at the notes, it had iris 
and I really like that you know iris vanilla it had patchouli like all my favorite ingredients and scents okay you see this little scarf here when you see the La Via Bell bottle it has this thing as well cheap cap of course but like it's like acrylic um, and glass bottle This is beautiful. This is beautiful, you guys. The patchouli in here is so pretty. It gives me Coco Mademoiselle intense vibes. It does not smell like Coco Mademoiselle, but they're in the same family. It actually smells like La Vie et Belle. Okay. It's a very beautiful, elegant, warm, spicy, sweet, lightly floral, you know, um, it smells like it has iris, but I don't know. I have to Google this to see what the ingredients are, but I like La Via Bell, this, La Via Bell, this, like, you go. So love this. Okay. I feel like if I bought this from my mom she'll love this too if you have not watched my last videos i did an unboxing of some affordable scents now go and watch that after this video because you know you need to be up to date with what what's going on this next fragrance that i'm going to unbox <laughs> looks like one of the fragrances i unboxed the other time okay i know i'm mentioning this late but <laughs> see if you can guess the fragrance it's imitating before I show you the original like designer perfume because this is so enlightening it's like eye-opening because how is it someone is able to create a perfume for five dollars sell it for five dollars I'm talking packaging I'm talking bottle you know everything perfume itself ingredients and you're charging nearly like $200. Like, how is that right, you know? This next perfume is not a designer perfume. It's more of like a celebrity perfume imitation, not imitation. They're not trying to copy, but they're trying to copy in the legal way, <laughs> in the right way, you know, to help some of us who need some of these types of perfumes that are affordable now listen this is by the brand lovali fragrances this is sweetie sweetie auto perform 100 ml now what does this box remind you of a fragrance i just unboxed like recently or a fragrance that you might already own yourself let's take off the plastic There's an image of a bottle at the back here. That's already a huge hint. What do you guys think of this? <laughs> They're so like silly and cool. For doing this you know I admire this if I had a brand and somebody else was doing this to my brand I'd be mad <laughs> I'd be upset but at the same time that's a different group of people there will always be a market for my brand you know what I mean and then there'll always be a market for these types of things these five dollar ones it shouldn't take away from the designer or the design brand itself you know it's nice that we have these options cheap affordable fragrances perfumes are a necessity and um it's a whole other world but i'm loving it so far like i am loving it so far look at this you guys another affordable perfume 
look at this this is my jimmy choo by jimmy choo perfume and this is sweetie sweetie by lovali fragrances five dollars mm, what was this a hundred and something hmm. both are glass bottles you guys the bottle looks like the jimmy choo and this pom pom whole thing going on here it looks like the sweet like candy by ariana grande hmm. now let's smell this sweetie 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 smells like jimmy choo by jimmy choo and sweet like candy by ariana grande it's a fruity gourmand and it's clean at the same time like i just this is delicious i prefer this to this this is missing a kind of sweetness that you can find in this like this is so juicy like it's so nice i love sweetie sweetie in fact i want to back up for myself i will include this in a giveaway because i really like it and i think you guys deserve to try it too and you know sharing is caring so i just can't believe this it's so pretty next perfume is called botanic blush I'm trying to remember what this smelled like so let's just open it um, botanic blush unites the seductress with the flower child pink peony and citrus wrap accords with rose sandalwood and patchouli to create a floral fragrance that defines femininity so it has peony citrus and sandalwood And the font looks like the Yugo Boss font. It's so weird. It's there's something, something that's kind of giving the vibe, you know. And I, I love this box. Like it's textured box. It's a textured box. So, and that's the bottle at the back. Hundred mils. Auto perform. These are perfumes. Okay, we're not even talking auto toilets. Or colognes. Oh, I like the inside, the lilac. Anyway, giving you the boss bottle vibes. So that's it there. Isn't that cute? Isn't that pretty? Glass bottle. The juice is slightly purple, like a light purple, and the bottle looks slightly purple too. Um, shiny gold lid with a little, you know, um, cream ribbon. If you have seen some of my earlier videos, I had a Hugo Boss clean fragrance. Like the juice was just like water, clear. Um, and it was very clean. This one smells exactly the same. I'll try to find the picture of the Yugo Boss perfume and put it up there. And this smells exactly the same, but with a light floral touch, like you guys. It's so pretty. Of course, I tried this. There was a sample in the store and I tried it. So I bought it and I love this as well. I love all of them, actually. This is so pretty okay i feel like i'm being greedy but i feel like i need to go and just stock up <laughs> stock up you know so love this i'm not sure whether this is the last scent or not we're gonna find out very soon so this one is called vanilla pearl it has vanilla pear and sandalwood Vanilla pearl. Ooh, ooh, pretty. Pretty. Look at that box. Look, look at the box. Okay. Vanilla pearl extracts a special type of vanilla that's unique to its native island origins. 
ripe pear, fresh gardenia, and creamy sandalwood wrap. Wait, what does that say? That the font is a little okay. Gardenia and creamy sandalwood wrap around an exotic base of roasted vanilla. Roasted vanilla, sandalwood, pear like it just sounds so good so this one is by preferred fragrance new york Ooh, look at this come on so it has this floral touch oh, so adorable and that's the bottle right there shiny gold lid as you saw To die for okay this smells like cream soda is that cream soda types of drinks like delicious vanilla delicious oh my goodness I just broke the little flower thing. you know what I don't even care this is so pretty I'll just glue it back on depending on how motivated I am but this is so pretty. Oh, this is so nice. You guys are going to love me for this. Like, yes. So this is Vanilla Pearl. It's also clean, fresh, citrusy, you know. Beautiful. My aunt also picked this set here. They're all like little different scents in rollables. Um, oh my goodness. And at the back here... It says what each fragrance is inspired by. We're going to start from this side. Very Charm is inspired by Victoria's Secret. Very sexy. And then Passionette um, is inspired by Victoria's Secret. Scandalous. And then Diva Scent Sugar. This one. Is inspired by Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy Glace. And then Exquisite. This one. Is inspired by Kim Kardashian KKW Fragrance. And then Sweet Divine right here. Is inspired by Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy. So my aunt and I tried this. Like we got home, opened that up. And I got to smell all of them, try them on, and yes, they all smell like good goodness. <laughs> they just smell so good, okay? So, yeah, they're like oriental gourmands and a bit of floral, clean citrus there as well. So, what have we learned from this video, from this discovery, is that to give everything a chance. Give everything a try. Mmm. What a successful, affordable, cheap perfume collection by additions, you know, all those great things. Like <laughs> when I do my updated perfume collection, you guys are going to be like, mm, she's been busy. But as you know, I will continue to be smelling good. And the more scent discoveries there are, the better for my life. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making it. So if you did, leave me a comment below. Let me know if these scents stand out to you and which ones in particular so that when I do a giveaway, you know, I make sure to include those scents in there. And that way it lets me know that you're here, that you've been on this channel, that you're out there. Because some of you, I know you watch, but you don't say anything. You never say hello. Like, why? You know, I will try to remember <laughs> to list the store in the description and list the perfumes in the description, like the companies that the perfumes are made from. So that's it. Mm, until the next video, I will see you later. So bye.